I've had some of these parts for quite some time now. The idea was to build a controller for the quill on my milling machine. I know I've actually got it all wired up working properly. Um, my channel sponsor, Rob from Extreme Plasma, took all the bits away, coupled them all together with a new stepper motor, and now I've got a beautiful operating stepper motor. Infinitely variable speed control, and you can reverse it. All nicely wired up. I need to put all this into a nice proper case and get the stepper motor mounted on the Miller machine, which is what we're going to have a look at today. It's an amazing amount of torque that's got, it's actually phenomenal. That's the little shaft that turns the fine feed, that's what engages it, locks it into place. I'm going to put a tooth gear on there and a tooth gear on the motor and the motor I think will probably go up there like that, mounted up there. The plate off here onto the motor, I'll have to put a piece in to step it out to get it in line. That's going to be out the road up there, it can be left connected all the time because you can disengage it with that clutch type affair there. So we need to make a, a piece of plate to go from there to there in the space that will bring that along. There's a little bit of machining to do. Possibly an angle of bracket off there. That would make it slotted into this and that would allow it to tension the belt. That could be the way to do it. This is the, the coupling I used to use. The holes are too big, I'll have to make a bush to sleeve that down, which shouldn't be a problem. Turn a little bush to push in there. I've got a couple of different sizes, um, you can't really go too slow, so I'll probably use the bigger one as the two. And the tooth belt up to the stepper motor, wherever it's going to be. Got two or three different lengths of belt as well, so we should be able to work something out. I think I'll take this out first and make a, a bush to fit in there. It's a nice fit on that. With a bit of luck, that'll be a standard size that I might have a, a room or four. Mill. I've definitely got a 12 mil reamer so we can make a nice job of the bush for that. Doesn't do all that. Right? 
chips are that cheap it's not worth messing about with them. Seventeen mil. Just about ready to go in that. Press in there quite nicely at that.
and that's a nice few wheels. Roll it 12mm to fit the shot quite nicely. M5 grub screws into here, just put new holes in and ignore the original one. was the top and drill for M5, greased M5 by 0.8. Man, the power tops, five mil steel. Or a stupid man, one or the other. The small sprockets I've got are six mil and the stout amount of Rob's given us is eight, so we'll have to drill and ream these out to eight mil. These are the soft materials to us right here. and slow up our reamers, thank you, cut and paste on there. That's a seven and a half mil hole, so it's taken 0.25 aside.
Make sure that's a perfect fit on there. Probably up there, something like that. Mounted onto here. Obviously, nice and straight and square. We'll be able to plasma cut the bracket out, I would think, and fold it. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and a massive thanks for all the well wishes. And don't forget, if you want your bell end T slot scraper, all you have to do. Put the number in the ABA and you'll find it anyway. Thanks for watching. As long as it's long as that's clear between that pulley and the motor. Oh John man. What did you throw down there for?